Selecting the right size aquarium for the right space is the key to success yeah. in fish keeping. <laughs> yup. And today I'm going to show you the small aquarium that we chose for my son Liam to the space that he has in his bedroom. Come on. So here it is, Liam's first aquarium. And why did we go with the Top Fin Underwater Worlds Retreat two and a half gallon? The reason being is because whenever you're doing a project, you need to make sure that you have the right amount of space for the right aquarium. Having a six foot aquarium in a five and a half foot space would not work and trying to make it work only makes things more stressful. The other reason we went with this is because one, it was 50% off and two, it had everything we needed without breaking the bank in terms of a first aquarium or an additional aquarium to anybody's fish room. So it comes with the tank, the glass lid, the LED fixture, and the special feature, the integrated system for a sleek look. Very humorous, the only thing we're missing is a heater. Now I'm thinking maybe uh, three Neon Tetras or a Beta, I'm probably going with the Beta, but I'm not sure yet. But I wanted to go over some of the steps because these would, they do a really good job of giving you the understanding of what you would need to set up an aquarium. You need a sturdy surface and you need to keep it away from heat, cold, and direct sunlight. And by doing so, you're giving yourself the best possibility and the best ecosystem for your aquarium. Having too much sunlight causes a lot of algae, can mess with your system, and can cause a lot of headaches for you. Extreme heat, extreme cold does the same exact things. Now, you do need an aquarium heater. Use an aquarium heater if needed to maintain a stable water temperature. Using a heater isn't always necessary. You don't always need a heater in an aquarium because if your ambient temperature is good and there's no fluctuations within your household, then you really don't need one. It's just another piece of technology to fail. Now you're gonna need some sort of substrate. Make sure you get a nice substrate, nothing too dark, nothing too light, something to accent the aquarium very well. You can even mix and match. That's what I've done in past aquariums. Now you're gonna to need to take care of good, water in order to have amazing fish. This is the key to success and it does tell you that right here. It is the key to success. It says let water sit for 24 hours before introducing fish. That is only if you're gonna use Seachem Stability in my opinion. If you're gonna try something else, that's on you, but uh, Seachem Stability has worked where I can add fish right away as long as I continue dosing. Now your decor, complement your personal style and provide shelter for your fish. Not all fish require caves, but providing shelter from, for, from you for your fish is highly essential. Now there's something that I really want people to pay attention to. Thoroughly rinse gravel and decor. Do not use soap or detergent as they may harm fish. Whether small dabs of detergent or large amounts of dish detergent or any chemical cleaners is not essential to a good environment for the fish and that says it right there. Now, if you're gonna use bleach, it's one part bleach to 10 parts water and make sure you're using primer safe to get that out of there. Step three, enjoy. However, I don't think the step three enjoy should happen. I think you've already chosen the two and a half gallon aquarium. Now it's time to choose the appropriate quantity of compatible fish for a two and a half gallon aquarium. So that's gonna be a beta or a few tetras, that's about it. And then feed your fish with an appropriate type and amount of food. Don't go crazy with the food. Now let's open this bad boy up. So now we've kind of got the idea of um, what we needed, what you're gonna do. Now they make it like zen-like. <laughs> Energize your inner spirit with the top fin underwater. So we're gonna open this bad boy. Very hard with one hand. Just to kind of give you the idea of what it looks like. And we'll go from there. So here we got the nice glass lid. Oh boy, oh my goodness. Those are the clips for the glass lid, I would assume. So I bet you that's the light. Here's the other clips. I'm assuming that these just go right onto the glass lid and then the glass lid will just hang out right there. Let me see if I can get this bad boy out. Liam's a little upset because he wanted to help. And then that's it. I mean, that's a really nice aquarium for the space. We can get a nice bait in there. Everything is inclusive. Um, and I'm sure we have, yep, here's the LED light, which we just clip over the top. Pretty simple, not super fancy, but really does a nice job. And that is choosing the right size aquarium for the right space. 
Folks, I hope you got enough information to choose the next aquarium for your house. Make sure you have the space, the aquarium, then the fish, De decorated the way you see fit. Make sure you do the right things, don't use chemicals, and keep yourself a nice schedule so that you and your fish can thrive together. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Remember, do something nice for somebody. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to donate money, but sometimes time is more valuable than money to a lot of people. You know what's next.